first half energy just seemed to not really be there at all. Yeah, we lost our energy guy. When Murph's not in the game, we have a hard time finding that extra source. And I thought we were very lethargic. Um, they controlled tempo. You know, it was kind of a – we knew that. They've just had some personnel issues. And to Murray's credit, he, he picked up a kid who ends up coming in and being a big pop for him in Jarvis Jones. But they've just had some personnel issues, so his bench is thin. They're trying to control tempo. And when you turn it over like we're turning it over, it just limits our shot abilities. Uh, I thought we, you know, shot the ball decent from three, uh, did a decent job defensively. But we're just turning it over too much. I, if, if we eliminate half of those, then – we're where we need to be offensively, and we feel a little better about ourselves. Marshall seemed to shoot the ball better tonight. Was he getting better shot selection, or were just shots falling? I think he makes shots. Uh, you know, that zone is going to allow him to get a little freer. Uh, so I, I thought he had some clean looks. I, I thought uh, Newby in particular made a couple of real hustle plays to get him some open floor looks. Um, Again, the, the, the turnovers, and he, he played a huge part in that, are just things that are just ridiculous, like at the end of the game, the ball going through your hands. When you're when you're a, an SEC scholarship basketball player, that should never happen, and it happens to us quite frequently, which tells me our focus and where it should be. Buckner seemed to get a lot of second point opportunities, but what did you see him do out there? I thought he was big. I thought he was really working behind the zone. Uh, we played him, you know, a team high in minutes because because Murph obviously, you know, I sat him with the two early fouls, and we were trying to just grind through that first half. I thought in the second half we had a chance to. You know, to maybe maybe feel better about ourselves heading west and get into a little bit of a rhythm, and uh, then we shoot ourselves in the foot. Andy, are the turnovers uh, youth playing rotation focus? What what do you attribute them to right now? Weak with the ball. That's what I attribute them to. Just being weak with the ball, not valuing the ball. I tell them, I told them from day one, if you value your minutes, you'll value that ball. It's the ball's important, and we don't value the ball. I think sometimes we go too fast. I think sometimes we go too slow. I think our execution, we zig when we should zag. I just think there's a lot of things we need to improve upon. Um, and, and I need consistency out of the guys that I know are capable of doing it. We're getting that some nights. Uh, and, and again, we're going to have to live with some of the things that our young guys are doing. I did think Derek gave us pretty good minutes. I thought he was active. Seemed to develop into a more of a rhythm. He was very active defensively, so that was good. And, and, uh, and Newby continues to define a role for himself. He's, gonna, he's continuing to take minutes and minutes and minutes because when he's out there, he provides us good energy. What did you think of DeMarco's minutes? You know, um, I think he's a big body. I think he's a guy that we need to rebound. He had three rebounds in 12 minutes. Um, he's still not quite as nimble on his feet as I think he will be. Again, I have to remember he's only been back with us for three weeks. At the job on Wilson. I thought y'all did a good job taking him out until yeah, the game was. I think seven. yeah. I think coming into the game, he may have been the leading scorer for a freshman. To come. Yeah, he, he he's a good player, and he's he's a difficult matchup because coming in, he had made uh, 23 threes, I think, in their in their first uh, seven games. So he's a capable shooter. I thought we did a good job defensively. You know, we got a little lax at, at the end of the games, and uh, but when you hold a team under 30. And, you know, you're holding about 55 points. Defense was not our issue. Really, defense hadn't been our issue this year. It's just offensively our efficiency is not nearly where it needs to be. How, keeping that in mind, how important was it getting some deflections and some steals to get some easy baskets? If you if you remember, you know, early in the season, that's that was how we were scoring a bunch of points, just using some athleticism and getting out in the open floor. I thought we were able to do that. Some Because I think it loosens us up. It's it just – Human nature, you, you get a couple layups, you get some broken floor opportunities, and maybe you can step in and make a shot, especially when you're seeing a lot of zone. This was a good game for us because we hadn't seen extensive zone like we did tonight. Uh, and it will prepare us for this next four-game stretch, which is obviously pivotal uh, as it culminates the end of our non-league run. Times against the zone where you miss a guy like Terrence that was big enough to kind of get into it a little right. bit. We tried to do that with Murph some, and I thought we were somewhat affected by getting it to him in the high post. Um, and he made some pretty good decisions out of the high post, a couple of high lows, and drove it at the basket. And I didn't even realize it. You know, he, in the first half, he plays, what, three or four minutes. In the second half, he still almost comes up with a double-double. So he's very active. And a lot of that was out of the high post. Uh, Murphy limped off there at the end. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He, he, he says Achilles. I thought it was an ankle. I didn't see. I thought he may have rolled his ankle. You know, he's had so many ankle issues. You know, sometimes he can just step wrong and it'll turn. But he says it was Achilles. Achilles kind of tightened up on him. So we just, I didn't want to put him back in the game. Um, I think he's fine.